The illustrator I chose was Nancy Ekholm Burkhart. It's uh, nice to hear some of these illustrators because obviously they're not as famous as the authors, but their work is also just as amazing. So Nancy Ekholm Burkhart, some of her backstory is her early work demonstrated on command of shading and texture through pencil and charcoal in addition to using her usual media of pen and ink combined with colored pencil and watercolor. You'll see by some of her examples later on just what this exactly means. And then some of her later work continued this emphasis on detail, revealing a passion for the complexity and variety of life. Okay, you can kind of see what that was kind of talking about in her James and the Giant Peach. Obviously, this was a really famous book by one of the great children author authors of all time. Uh, this really helped Nancy kind of get her footing as an illustrator and really got some of her other books that she helped illustrate later in her career. Uh, one of her other books was Jean Claude's Island by Natalie Savage Carlson. Uh, the book is about a youngster that actions lead to problems for just the whole family in general. You can just see about how she really emphasized life in general. You know, we got a duck here, some flowers, and just Jean hanging out with all of them. Okay, this next one uh, arguably might be her most famous work of all time, uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Uh, the book is super famous, obviously. The author's brother, Grimm. Just, if you can look at all the detail that she has in these pictures, it's really quite amazing. You know, you got the deer here and the dwarfs hanging out with her as well. And it's just unbelievable to see that work. Another book of hers was The Big Goose and the Little White Duck by Mater de Young. Once again, you can just see the details. You know, she obviously loves animals quite a bit. You can tell just because she has animals in about all her drawings and that influenced her to kind of go with these books as well. Uh, the last example I have is The Nightingale. This was in 1965. Uh, the author is Hans Christian Andersen. The book is about an emperor who prefers the tinkling of a bejeweled mechanical bird to the song of a real nightingale. And once again, you know, you got the flowers and the, the bird. Just shows her passion about life and just nature in general. And then lastly, some of the awards she's won. No doubt about it, Snow White and her seven dwarves, the illustrations were amazing. You can just tell by this example here on this slide. She won the New York Times Notable. Uh, she's also won a few other awards here. And in 1995, she got the Wisconsin Library Association, which is just the notable authors uh, that are living in Wisconsin. So obviously she's had a big part in children's book. Her illustrations are one of a kind and there's no question that she's a great illustrator.